Hi, Matt. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Busy. Busy, busy, busy. Um, lots to do and um, and all of it's fun. <laughs> Hello, Matt. How are you? Hi. How are you, Henry? I'm very good. Very good. Hi, Vijay. How are you? Hello. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. My my kid is still having breakfast while watching TV, so you can hear nursery rhymes in the background. <laughs> so. So, uh, Alolita is on a plane at the moment, um, uh, and the person, uh, Ryan from Quine, um, that was going to talk about knowledge graphs and ontologies and some graphy stuff, um, needed to postpone, because uh, he's also on a plane. Um, I suspect it's that maybe, maybe you're all going to the same place, um, but um, that's, that's kind of what's up there. Um, I guess we'll give another minute to see who shows up. Um, okay. I've been there is some... nerding out. Oh, sorry. Yeah, well, I wanted to, uh, one topic that I wanted to discuss uh, with you, or I mean, I have some news. Uh, you know, there's a working group for unified query language. Um the, there's a yes. charter that has, been, that has been built so far, and I wanted to know if there's any uh, ongoing planning on when those meetings will happen. Because um, at the moment, there is nothing is displayed on the CNCF calendar, and I was mm -hmm. I, didn't, I was wondering if you had any news on that. So I was hoping uh, for the same. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. um, let's see. Uh, one moment. I'm pulling up the. Uh, the slides uh, from today. Uh, at this, so the CNCF TOC meeting um, just finished. Um, and uh, in that meeting, one of the things that we covered, this is the, the monthly one where the tags, uh, I'm just pulling up our slide, um, where the tag uh, present. Um, this is one of the things I mentioned. Um, I don't have, uh, March 21st, March 14th, March 7th, here we go. Agenda and notes. Ah, got it. Then, runtime observability. All right, so I'm dropping a, a, a link into the meeting notes here. Okay. Um, so this was the... Um, There we go. Um, uh, whereupon we have that just one slide. So it was actually the first thing we talked about. Um, I haven't gotten any updates about it. Um, uh, I did kind of have an idea uh, that I would. I'm curious if they're if they're they're um, th they're considering, and that's um, the substrate project. I don't know if you're familiar with it. I just learned of it a few days ago. I've been doing some initial reading, um, but it's... Um, Which project um, you mentioned? Uh, I'm sending a link now. Okay. So, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's amazing, like, without my mouse, I'm just so slow. Okay. Um, Substraints, okay. Yeah, so this came out of the Apache Arrow community, um, and it's basically a it's it's kind of nerdy, but it's a it's like a meta it's a meta compiler, <laughs> if you will. Like it it, it allows a, a common representation, not 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 so much a language, but a representation 
um, like an intermediate language. That's what I'm looking for. It, it provides basically an intermediate language with some some out of the box stuff to basically let you write SQL um, in whatever dialect you want, uh, have it come to a common middle ground, and then it can be then used on any of a variety of database database backends versus what we have today, which is like every variant of SQL, like Postgres versus MySQL versus you know something else that is technically ANSI SQL, but in reality is not, you know, or has extensions or or slight slight changes. Right, um, like using Transact SQL, T SQL, you know, and then and then third, you have all these different kinds of tools for big data and analytics, everything from like, you know, Druid and Iceberg and 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 just all of these data stores um, uh, that have their own query engines on top of it that also can speak SQL. Um, so, so, so the needs of of of, of all of those kind of people. Um, and, and, you know, data scientists and, and, and data engineers in particular, um, while at the same time, you have infrastructure and cost concerns around how we spend most of our time in these systems, kind of, uh, this is more the arrow thing, right? Where, where the data format, oftentimes JSON or something else, or maybe something that's in a database, you know, that that's wildly different from the data format used to process the data. So what Apache Arrow does is it's a columnar format it's sort of a successor to Parquet, if you will, um, but it, it its purpose is to have in-memory representation be the same set of bits as what's happening in the storage layer with metadata and the ability to do chunk parallel transfers and a bunch of other kind of like things to allow you to move data around very quickly. So for example, there's a Postgres extension, I could send the link, um, that lets you use Arrow files as a backing store, right, instead of its own normal Postgres files, and, you know, and, and so you can basically like have a bunch of data, right? You know, put a Postgres, you, you know, run a Postgres instance looking at this data and then, and then so use Postgres as a wire transport protocol just to shovel bits, right? Because that arrow compressed stuff is, you know, perhaps 10 X larger or more uh, when it's in JSON form or something like that. Right. So with the needs of like the storage layer, plus this, panoply of 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 languages and vendors and tools and you know just this whole ecosystem around it's almost as big as the cncf itself really but it, uh so that's kind of the, the the backdrop to the substrate project as i understand it which aims to kind of kind of like open telemetry lets all of these different producers consumers and transformers of open uh, of telemetry data um, it lets them kind of have a common lingua franca and, and have the, the collector sub the substrate project which is Apache 2 or Apache 2.0, if not Apache also. Um, uh, substrate kind of analogously tries to do the same thing for SQL um, and for database access. And, and, and I kind of think that the needs of observability folks, you know, is kind of smashing right in and we're, we're going to see convergence here, right? Like, yeah. um, you know, as these different data stores all kind of like for example AGE um that apache.org that's postgres extension that gives it an open cipher endpoint so we're seeing like the rise of multimodal databases right you know so um i think that i think that that project kind of is congruent with this work stream and so i was hoping that someone from there were supposed going to show as i understand it though when last we we spoke and i'm behind in posting videos i'll upload the video from 2 weeks ago we talked a bit about the project and its status there. Uh, I apologize again for being late on uploading videos, but um, the long and short of it is they have that that charter. Um, I think the next step is to send out when they are ready uh, to just get TOC to just inform. But you know, for all intents and purposes, uh, they've started. As soon as the TOC checks off on it, and in today's TOC meeting, I, I said I would be sending this info to them in the coming weeks when when the working group is ready. Um, then they can set their own schedule and then they can have their own YouTube playlist and cool. they, can be off, they, they can be off to the races as a Did working you, group. Do you know if there's a channel at the moment to follow discussion? Because at the moment, I, um... I, can, I can add you. Yeah. Oh, great. great. Uh, but yeah, can you add me as well? Yeah, there, there's literally nothing on it, but yeah. Uh... Because I'm following the charter and I, I want to... I mean, I want to to make the this project going on or uh, roll, but at the moment it's uh, 
yeah, it's more uh, we we are preparing the actual work. Um, so nothing has been, I mean, except the the charter, of course. Yeah, I'm putting this in the um in the in the meeting notes here, but is it the same? Is it the same link that I have from several weeks ago? Yeah, it's called telemetry. Thanks, thanks, MJ, for for inviting. Me. Yeah, got it. Yeah, I started to give this a read. But um, you know, something like substrate, I'm sure there's probably other alternatives, but um something like that might be a good fit to like, you know, once they get past the survey phase. So like I don't know. I think <clears throat> I think we need to kick off a few meetings and then like uh, have different people do the surveys so right now i think there's one survey that uh, chris has done uh, yeah. for, for their netflix uh, uh, time series database i guess um, i think the more 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 of us who can get involved and start filing pull requests the faster it probably will move agree yeah i mean I'm, i would i would i wouldn't be surprised to to not see a huge surge of interest from various vendors that do already have their own languages like there's I, I could I could see why one might engage or I would imagine why um hey speak of the Chris did, was it like Voldemort did you hear us saying your name and, and you felt the burning and <laughs> yeah. we were just saying we'd love to talk to you about uh the working group and stuff like yeah. that um and yeah, it was so an acid reflux fucked up <laughs> just kidding <laughs> how are so, you all doing um very good so in the meeting notes um i've dropped a hello okay you got this book i'm sorry this is the second time in two meetings that yeah that's why i like to work from home everyone's coming back to work um yeah in the in the in the, in the hour prior uh we we at the toc meeting um and there's a link in this in the in the in the meeting notes uh to the slide uh you know we we told them about the working group that you that you you've launched and, and we set expectations that they should be getting a charter that they can say yes to at which point you know um YouTube playlists and stuff like that. We can post your videos, you can have open meetings, and you can kind of have some of the resourcing. Um, also, uh, I, I kind of had a couple of conversations since last meeting around surveys and getting and getting getting some some help from that from that. Um, I believe you could you, you could reach out to the marketing folks directly on Slack. Um, and I'm, I'm after this meeting, I'm going to reach out to the TOC to kind of ask more specifically in the TOC Slack channel. You know, hey, the, the tag has a working group. We've been talking on the TOC um, about tag TOC communications, and, and and so it's an active topic. I think what the interaction model should be. Um, okay, but I would I would imagine that there are some resources that could help you out. Um, Thank you. And then and then also um, separately from that, there's the end user um, community groups, and uh, those are listed up on CNCF.io, and I. Again, like, feel free to reach out directly to them as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something uh, BJ um, mentioned that we wanted to try to get a, a, a meetup for not just the hotel uh, and user groups, but anybody else in the industry too who wanted to join and just um, poke people's get uh, collect the list of uh, suggestions folks have, complaints or wish list items for a query language. But uh, so you you plan to do a meetup for that, or this? So are you first trying to want to run for a couple of survey, and then based on the survey, then do the meetup afterward, or what's what's your plan? I was thinking doing uh, concurrently because there are going to be some folks who will go to meet up, some folks won't go. Uh, can fill out the survey, um, but do you think it'd be better to do a survey first and then be able to have that around to discuss? Or? I think, yeah, I was thinking maybe as an introduction to the meetup, there will be a way of saying, this is what we observed so far. 
and how people are using it and, and how, I mean, for example, PromQL is the standard for metrics and whatever. And then, so then we could feed ideas in the brain so then we can follow up uh, with deeper conversations. Yeah, that sounds good, man. Um, so yeah, I can follow up. Um, anybody want to help out with questions to put on the survey? I think, yeah, I think we, we and then we f we need to figure out how we distribute that survey on which which community we need to knock, knock the door uh, to, because I think having a survey is great, but we need to have a, a decent number of responses to make it real. <laughs> Mm -hmm. real uh, uh, valuable so i think here we need we need to join forces on on where we want to send that survey mm -hmm. do you think any vendors would be interested in seeing out too like Dynatrace yeah so I, I i can i can use the the, the Dynatrace uh, piece um, i have a way we have a way of figuring out what are the component people are using in in their environments so uh, I can basically target a few couple of, of, of uh, customers based on that. I already have intentions to do um, end user interviews for other topics, but that could be a way of say, hey, I have that survey. Could you also keep t take five minutes of your time and fill that, that survey as well? It would be great. Oh, yeah, that'd be wonderful. Thanks. I know a couple other vendors who could help out um, distributing that. Yeah. Um, and then a uh, uh, quick question what about since y'all are here what time would be good for a meetup if we did that uh, for the end users because it looks like conferences are popping up pretty soon a lot of them happening this summer like kubecon and uh, scale and whatnot so is it best to try to push a meeting like that after the conferences or try to squeeze them before I would say that KubeCon is uh, is in a month, in Europe, a month and a half. Um, depending if we want to have numbers or stuff to share with during KubeCon, uh, Europe. If if that's the case, then uh, we should schedule the meetup as as app, and collect uh, enough statistics so then we can uh, try to uh, make a follow up on that conversation during KubeCon. That would be great, or we we wait after yes. KubeCon. Well, oh, yeah, I, I was also going to say we have a maintainer track talk at KubeCon. Um, I was going to go, I, 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 I've actually, I'm not going to be at KubeCon EU this year um, for a couple different reasons, um, uh, but I wish I could be. Um, uh, so our leader will be doing the talk, um, uh, but because it's a tag, it's on the tag, right? So yeah, it's an update from, from tag observability. So since this is a work group, you know, definitely coordinate with our leader because you can get, and, you know, I'm sure that one that's one of the things she's going to want to talk about that we'd we want to kind of put out there to the KubeCon universe. Um, so you could coordinate there, right? Um, even if it was an informal meetup or a formal informal one, you know, whatever uh, you could you could announce it, you know, to the to the right audience at KubeCon that might want to that might not know about the effort and might want to you know jump into it kind of like what happened to pro with the profiling stuff right how we kind of just put it out there and you know assemble something and see who shows up so cool. definitely definitely coordinate with all later on as well all right yeah, right. So I'll, I'll, be, I'll be working on slides and whatnot for it i just um i have some life stuff going on i need i need to be home for teenagers <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's easy. college trips yeah. uh, I, I i couldn't go for it kids reasons but i have toddlers so different different reason <laughs> oh yeah i've got a high school senior and a junior so oh geez yeah <laughs> good one and they listen to you all the time right <laughs> all four of them actually the twins are 15 17 18 it's a big oh twins too it's a big crazy teenager and a large dog right so so the april break where kubecon is that's like right when the kids are home from school and we're going nine different directions to look at, to look at college <laughs> and make choices oh man gosh Chris, are you planning to go i'm trying to i'm still chatting with my wife because we have twin toddlers to three years old so um she wanted to go out she was like amsterdam yeah i want to go um we've been there but yeah, I might go out for just a couple of days around the observability day. Okay. So, 
So, uh, I, will, so I, will be different I, I don't know how related to observability this is, but I will mention that um, uh, at KubeCon, I believe, I can't speak about the Amsterdam one that's coming up, but I know that in, in previous KubeCons, there's there's like a program for people with traveling with kids for to have kids do stuff during KubeCon, kind of like going on a cruise, right? It's, <laughs> and it's for people who wouldn't otherwise be able to attend, but for they've got, you know, you know, children. So um, I remember seeing that through a flyby um, in, in one of the channels. I can find a link to it if you want, but um, something to consider. Yeah, I'll have to poke through. <laughs> uh, see if they can make the flight, though. <laughs> the kids do. That's a long one. Yeah. Um, thanks. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, back to the... Uh, <laughs> is it so similar to the developer uh, summits that we do uh, on KubeCon, like, is there opportunity to do an end user, end user setting? Like, uh, I, I, there are going to be a bunch of end users at Amsterdam, I'm sure. Like, uh, maybe use that as an opportunity to see what the concerns around observability are and whatnot. Uh, we can obviously host one within the Bay Area. Uh, uh, quite a few people would show up. Uh, but I think uh, both the KubeCons might also be a good forum for this since thousands of should... travel. We should reach out to Austin Parker, who is doing the Observatory Day, <clears throat> and uh, and suggest that we do like a non-conference, whatever uh, aspect where we bring people who are interested in that topic, and then we can start discuss with them. Um, and you can even then take the adventure. Say, hey guys, we have a survey. Please fill in fill in that survey as well. Right. Well, again, I would uh, just to set expectations. Um, you know, I would be surprised if open telemetry necessarily is 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 going to be receptive to talking about specifically exactly query languages for backend durable stores. Like they they've carved a very public, very rational, pragmatic line that says open telemetry is concerned with with, with you know collecting and moving around observability data, uh, not querying specifically. Um, and so um, they they. Uh, it wasn't based on this the, your effort, but there was another thread that happened. Uh, I think Henrik, you were there in in, in LA um, at the last KubeCon, uh, where this actually came up in the Open Telemetry Community Meeting, uh, and then it came up again, right? And so I, yeah, VJ was there, right? So, um, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But is the observability day hotel specifically, or is it hotel? No, 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 no. It's it's uh, Flynn Bit no. and Flynn D. It's uh, it's all the observability solutions. Right. It's not specific to, but it's yeah. There will be of course some specific topics about open telemetry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think it'd be just since observability users are gathered there, it'd be nice if we could yeah ask Correct. and have the meeting like like VJ said. So. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, so I'll reach out to Austin. Ask about that. So I think the, like Henrik, it sounds like we could do the survey, get that started now and start distributing it. We can have it floating around for a while and then we can um, have Emily to tell folks about it and discuss a um, uh, meetup after. We could try for the meetup on the day of and then, I mean, we yeah. don't necessarily have to have just one, but do that after. So yeah, that'd be good. I think if, if you and uh, Alolita are planning to travel, uh, I think. Uh, that might be a good, uh, you two might be a, a good set of people to facilitate the the, dis, the discussion from starting from an end user perspective uh, and, sure. and ask people. Yeah, that sounds good. Cool thing. And then, yeah, the uh, working group, the charter, um, leaving it open through the end of the month, of course, um, and comments have died down on it. So I think we've reached consensus. So I just have to finish cleaning it up. And then that should be good. Cool. Are you planning to talk about it this KubeCon? Uh, or observable day? Well, um, uh, Itai said they were thinking of having a panel discussion about observability and asked if I could be on it. Um, so if I fly out, I'll see if okay. I can. Otherwise, I don't have a specific talk about it because it's so early. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think North America, hopefully we have enough done by then so that we right. can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then we wanted to ask too, Matt, about what's the, I know it's, it would happen after the um, working group has officially chartered, but is there a process to get a repo open under CNCF for the 
data set that we're collecting? Um, a Git repos. I don't. I, I think we can. I, I can make. I think I might just be able to create one um, at that point. Uh, or maybe there's a more formalized process now. I think three years ago, maybe I could just create it. But, um, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, there is a service desk um, uh, open to tags. Uh, so any like, so I can I can make a ticket there uh, to get your repo created. Um, in fact, we could probably just start that process now. Um, again, like I, I would say, go, don't wait. I'm like like the, <laughs> the, the working group stuff. Like just, just so so I, I'm being a little bit OCD around like you know I I just want to make sure that on the backside we're doing the right stuff so that we can get you the the right things as much as possible but 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 don't feel like you have to wait for some like blessing to to start to, to just yeah so so um so yeah so, why, why don't why don't we do that at least find out one way or the other so i'm um, taking a note i'll i'll uh and, I, and i'll put it in a github issue on the tag so there's a link to the service desk ticket um uh, uh Chris, in terms of to make it uh, to make the project running and 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 if we want to respect the deadlines, it would make sense to we set up even if there is no part. I mean, there is nothing in the working group oh. meetings in CNCF calendar. But do we have? I'm being meetings? silly. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm being silly. You're welcome to use the tag observability repo. We could just make a, like a working groups directory, and I could add you to the repo, and that would be like the now solution. Um, if you like, and you can always branch out later if you want this to have its own thing. I, I don't, I don't actually know. So, uh, but but you're welcome to do that in the near term. Um, okay, thank you. Yeah, maybe. We'll do that. But yeah, I think a good point. So we need to add the right. We haven't set up the meeting or anything like that for initial meeting. So yeah, now, as to the calendar, I, I don't know. There might. I'll check to see if there's a Jira service desk process, but. In the past, it's Amy. I don't know if you know Amy, and um, uh, I can put a link. Um, and uh, she, she is kind of the. Um, she well, knows the right question. Yeah, she, she she's in charge of everything. <laughs> Basically, she's the glue that holds, as far as I could tell, everything together, um, um, and more. Um, okay. Cool. Yeah, then maybe um, like we can reach out to her and then try to get a meeting scheduled before the end of the comment period. Does that sound good, Henry? And then um, that way people maybe, can comment. And work yeah, I think we could. What we could do is maybe uh, to make the thing because there there is a survey and everything to to deliver. So maybe it would make sense that on the uh, Slack channel uh, we just suggest a, 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 a temporary weekly meeting uh, time and then once the charter has been approved then we can have an official weekly meeting uh, I, I guess that's the process Matt or uh yeah so working groups are free to you can meet five times a week if you want or okay. once every three weeks or okay. only on leap years like no, I, I, there's very like there is no more process that i'm aware of for working groups you self-organize and 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 do do it like I'm just trying to get uh, a playlist for you and and the access to the CNCF okay. calendar, but it's creating of the Zoom links and all of that. But but beyond that, uh, you know, other than just you know conforming to the code of conduct and and, and all of that, which is, is is easy to do. I get that sorry. Yeah, and whenever you're ready to pull the trigger on, whenever, I'm sorry, whenever you're really ready to decide to use the document in whatever form it's ready, uh, let us know. We will send the real email. And... Awesome. Thank you. So uh, yeah, so uh, welcome to, to to the folks that just joined as well. Uh, I actually don't have much else on the agenda. Um, I there was the 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 the, the gentleman from uh, Quine that, that uh, is going to be he's asked to come on the twenty first, not the seventh. Uh, he's flying today, as I mentioned. 
Uh, so that was one block of time. Uh, I had thought about reaching out um, to some of the other projects that that we haven't heard from in a while, uh, but I could I, I suppose I could just reiterate here for this meeting as well what I what I said at the TOC today that you know we have all manner of work that's scoped or opportunities to come and and take a leadership role or just to drive things as, as y'all are doing. Um, if you look at the observability and analytics part of the landscape. You know, it's it's very large. There's a huge amount of, uh, of projects going on in the sandbox alone, uh, and and for example, we have a tag issue in our our, our repo. You know, around that, that's already actually been started by somebody who then had to go do something else uh, around like a, a a formalized program to 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 reach out to all of the sandbox and the incubating projects and schedule getting them and to do meetings and so there's there's like logistical and project management work. There's technical work. There's creative work. Um, there's all manner of stuff. So um, if anybody does want to actually take uh, an active role in driving any of that, uh, or you know someone who does, please um, know that you know it's whatever. You, there's an opportunity there for anyone anyone interested. Hey, hey, Matt. That's a pretty good segue, and the reason I joined as well. Um, I I'm Gaurav. Uh, and have been off and on connected with this community. Uh, I run an observability team at a startup uh, called Cloud Kitchens and uh, have a pretty uh, solid, uh, reasonably small, but solid team. Uh, and I would love to encourage folks to, to sort of communicate and, uh, and participate in the open source projects and stuff. What I was thinking was have, um, have someone come in and talk to my team. Um, so I wanted to pick you guys' brain, uh, can tell us about the tag and can tell us about some of the opportunities and sort of excite people uh, to, to go and contribute. We are in Mountain View in the Bay Area. Uh, if anyone of you or anyone you recommend would be uh, interested in coming and talking to my team. Online is fine too, uh, but in person would be even better. Uh, awesome. Um, I'm sure that we could find somebody to be there in person. Um, I work on the East Coast, um, uh, but uh, my company's based in, in Cupertino, so I'm, I'm there sometimes as well. Um, uh, there are a couple things you could do now, today, um, and, and I can put links in. Um, we did a talk both at, at both of the last two KubeCon North Americas. Um, and in both of those, we kind of cover what is the tag, what's its scope, what's its purpose, and things like that. Um, mm -hmm. And so th th those might be a good place to start if you wanted to do something like today, today. I also have a couple decks um, I, I could give you or I'm happy to give versions of um, that are the decks from those talks that also kind of cover the scope of all that stuff. Um, hi, Ken. Um, and, 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 and I'm sure that there's others that, that, that would love to come talk as well. Um, but there's a, and then the other thing that is sort of a now thing that the, that could be useful is both the tag observability repo and the landscape graph repo. Um, both have a bunch of help, help wanted, you know, um, good first issue type things. They're both, um, it's all, it's all open, right? Uh, so um, there's another, until, until we figure out something else, uh, th 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 those might be good places to start. And um yeah, uh, what would work best? Uh, like my email or something that uh, you can send some resources to? Uh, if yeah, you have those. Sure. Uh, if you want to, yeah, I'll put a link because I think you probably didn't get the. If you join, if you join Zoom after the meeting starts, it doesn't scroll back. <laughs> um, give you a link to the meeting notes. Uh, uh, we, we uh, that, that I think is in the there. is in the invite too. Right? Oh yeah, you have um, that. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I got that. Okay. Well, which one would you say is the is a good start? Oh, um, I, I didn't want to take up time in the meeting, but I I was going to say like we already have two YouTube videos. The most recent one would be the most recent one from, from LA. Again, like if you wanted to throw a video or something at people that they could watch, it's like 20 minutes or something that would cover cool. cover that today. Um, I'm, I'm right. happy to end. Yeah. And then Thank you. Uh, I guess. To...
yeah, that sounds like a great start. Thank you. Um, is there anything in particular, like what that 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 your team is 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 specifically focused on, or, or is interested in? Like, are you just generally interested in 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 the space, or do you have something specific so, you're building? Uh, the, that... I I think the team there's a lot of interest in Thanos uh, specifically um, because we use that at a pretty decent scale, um, and Prometheus obviously. Uh, so those those two, like from a technical point of view, uh, but I want people to be more aware of you know what what are the things that are going on. And open telemetry is another example where I think there'll be a lot of interest, uh, technically speaking. Awesome. Um, yeah, reach out to Bartek as well if you haven't yet. Um, when it comes to Thanos, and there's probably other people here that have also run that as well. Um, yeah, I have uh, joined a few of the office hours and stuff and talked to Bartek. Yeah. yeah Trying to get resource. more active. <laughs> yeah. That's it for me. Thank you. Okay. Uh, does anyone else have anything? Uh, as I said, we 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 have a short agenda uh, today. Uh, may I ask, uh, uh, what is the best way to track uh, some of the SDK development that's happening on the open telemetry side, like uh, uh, timelines for logs being stable and things like that? So there's um. Well, I don't. I don't speak for open telemetry or anything, but as I understand it, actually, you know, Henrik, I bet can answer this better than I can. I have ideas, but but no. you're you're a little more involved. Yeah, normally the observer e uh, open telemetry you sorry, has um, a matrix showing you uh, where the status of each SDK on each various signals. It should be uh, normally updated uh, automatically. Uh, I didn't check recently, to be honest, <laughs> but that that was initially the source where I was using. And sometimes what I do, I, I jump to the indiv individual repo to figure out which version, which, I don't know, uh, to get more details on the actual status. But OpenTemetry.io give you normally uh, the matrix that you're looking for. Oh, yeah, uh, I see that. Uh, curious more from a, uh, a roadmap perspective, like... Uh, that that that's that's more tricky. So I, I know I've seen some really issues good. over the last week about logs. Talk about logs being stable, so I think it's close, but I don't think they have a specific timeline as to when it'll actually happen. Okay. Yeah, right. I mean, like, like for example, at every KubeCon, they'll they'll get together, uh, you know, and and agree on what the overall direction for the project is but the timing is up to con to contributors right so you know you can make guesses but it, it's difficult i think sometimes in an open source project to say like you know we have committed resourcing we have done the level of planning and analysis that you know we have a team of this size you know it's it's not quite like uh schedulable or predictable um, that said, open telemetry is of a sufficient size where, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if that's not the case at all, because they have so many people working on it. Um, but, but yeah, um, there is also an open telemetry communications thing, I think it is, um, that does a lot of the communication um, around like talks and roadmaps and things. Um, do I have that There's right a right? newsletter or something, isn't there? Yeah, there's... <clears throat> Pull up the link here. It's CNCF Open Telemetry Comms, I think, is the mailing list, right? This is more community of them. Um, you might ask on here. Go uh, put it in the meeting notes. You might ask on this mailing list or show up in their Slack. I'll just put in the meeting chat. Um, I think that might also be a good place to start.
Sounds good. But like but again, like I'm I have no idea about the log stuff specifically. Uh no, that's okay. I just uh, used that as an example. Hmm. Okay. Um well, sorry, I'm sure I just I'm not... found what I was looking for. It's uh called open telemetry in focus is the thing I was trying to find. Oh. And there's the link to the one for February. All right. I should really set up an thank you. So that gives you a snapshot in time as to where things are at. Awesome. Um, if there's no other topics for today, um, I'm happy to return time to folks. I know I'm a little overbooked myself. Um, uh, and and uh, and 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 as I said, um, look for those videos uh, from the last two meetings. Sounds like they should be rolling soon. on the hard network first, not the Wi-Fi. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, yeah. Thanks all. Have a great one. Bye. Have a great day.